Hi, I'm Dr. Jenny Kelly with the Windward Community College Vet Tech Program. And this is Victor. He just had surgery today. He was neutered and he's been a, a great patient for us. The Vet Tech Program started in the, 2013 was when our first students came through the program. It was initiated by some of the local veterinarians out in practice wanted a way in Hawaii for veterinary nurses to be trained. I was looking for a way to come back home. I was born and raised here. I'm a Wailua High grad. I was on the mainland for many years for career and education and the position came up for a vet tech program director and I was ready to head home. I applied and I got the position and here I am. So I started here in 2015 of June, so I've been here just over five years now. I was the kid that was always bringing home the strays or trying to save the baby birds. And instead of crushing the worms, I would try to feed them whole. So um, I always loved animals and wanted to help them. And so I think that's one thing with our vet tech program. We're all here in with this, for the same reason. We love animals and we want to um, help them. And a thing about our program is uh, the goal is to improve the health care of animals in Hawaii. I chose Windward Community College because one, they're an accredited program and they also have very good professors. The class size is very adequate. It helps me with my learning and I'm pretty sure it helps everybody else with their learning. Getting a, being able to talk to teachers, uh, being able to get in touch with your teachers uh, and being able to set things up where you can you know get alone time with them get extra help if you need it it's all very very set up for this program and just being able to learn with other students that want to do what you want to do and help you challenge yourself to move forward with the career path that you're choosing so what makes it the best is the people we have a great faculty and staff so I would say it's kind of multifactorial. The college itself is a great place to work and be a part of the Ohana here. Um, the program has extremely dedicated uh, staff and faculty. We are the best in Hawaii because we are the only program in Hawaii. And uh, we have now expanded so that students from neighbor islands can get the education um, in a distance way, but they come here to our campus for fast track labs. Another wonderful aspect of our program is that it is a win-win situation. Our students get to learn the hands-on skills and work with animals and we get to assist shelter animals or rescue animals such as Victor, whether it's spay and neuter surgeries or castration or blood work or x-rays. So our students get to learn and we get to service the animals and help out the rescues and shelters. We work with a bunch of them on the island and it's a wonderful relationship. Um, our students also get to go to places such as Jabson to learn for laboratory animals and then we also take field trips in the spring to some of the farms and ranches on the island. All right, today I'm going to show you um, kind of what to look for in terms of uh, your dental work on your dog. Normally you want your dog to have nice clean teeth as would you. You want to brush their teeth uh, at least three times a week if possible. Uh, if you can do it every day, that would be nice too. Um, you can just go to Petco and buy those little finger brushes or you can buy the toothbrush kits from your veterinarian or also Petco or PetSmart, wherever you get your pet supplies. Ideally, you don't want to have any inflammation on the gum line uh, next to the teeth. Uh, normal dogs will have tartar buildup um, over the years and then you would get just regular um, every year or so get dental work done with your veterinarian. Um, otherwise, you can have problems with your dog's teeth and mouth, uh, which end up looking more like this, where you have a bunch of inflammation on the gum line, teeth are severely covered in tartar and calculus, um, you have missing teeth, you'll have cracked teeth, teeth that end up showing uh, your pulp root exposure, uh, cracked teeth in the back, uh, teeth that'll just fall out of your dog's mouth because they're so bad. Um, and that kind of creates what's called a oral nasal fistula, which will lead to his um, nasal cavity. And then you'll have all kinds of bad stuff going on in there. Food gets caught. Um, they have trouble eating and drinking water. Uh, things like that is what you would normally be looking out for when you're doing uh, or looking in your dog's mouth. Uh, and you should do that routinely. You can go to our website at Windward hawaii.edu and or email us at vettech at hawaii.edu.